when the British Royal Air Force was just beginning, two twin flyboys sought to soar above and defend the skies. But their first flight was quite a disaster, and they continued to crash. And crash, and crash, and of course, crash. Could it be possible that God would now use their special talents in the remotest place on Earth? Journey with us now to their island getaway to see what has become of the long-lost Banzai brothers and see the wonders that God can do. Hello, hello, children, hello. Hello, everyone. Oh, let's try that again. Hello, children. Oh, much better. It's sweet Mumsy here again, and I'm just out walking along, enjoying the island beauty. <laughs> algae! 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 Oh, algae! You algae, startled me! Algae! Uh, algae! I am al not algae, dear. Oh, I can never tell you two apart. <laughs> Chauncey! 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 I am not Chauncey either, dear. Well, then who are you and what did you do with the bonsai? Oh, well, I am a bonsai, but I'm Mumsy Bonsai. <gasps> I'm the boy's mother. <laughs> oh, yeah, now I see the resemblance. <laughs> and who are you? Pepper Pelican, messenger extraordinaire. <laughs> but I was really hoping to talk to the Bonsai Brothers. You see, I have this friend who has a boo-boo, and he needs medical attention stat. Oh, well, this is your lucky day. Just so happens I was a nurse in the Army Air Corps. <laughs> Whoa, you were in the Air Corps? Cool. Oh, yes. Now, don't dawdle and go get your friend right away. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, 800 pound gorilla. <laughs> you have a friend named 800 pound gorilla. Yep, he's standing right behind you. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, oh, heavens. Oh, oh, he really is an 800 pound gorilla. Well, we don't call him that for nothing. Oh, are you sassing me? Oh. Uh, Mumsy doesn't like a sassy mouth. Oh, no. Are you sassing me? Uh, uh, no, ma'am. I can't hear you! No, ma'am! Oh, much better. Now. What's the problem with the 800-pound gorilla? <laughs> he says he's got a splinter. Oh, is that all? Oh, put out your hand. <laughs> uh, he's a little scared. Oh, don't be scared. It's only a splinter. Now, put out your hand. Now! <laughs> there we go. Now, let me get out my needle here. <laughs> See, where is it? Wow! That's not a needle. Oh, here we are. Wow! That's a harpoon. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, go on, give her your hand. Oh, don't be such a baby. <laughs> I'll have it out in two shakes of a lamb's tail. <laughs> Here we are. Ah, no. Done. <laughs> 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 oh, well, what did he say? He says it stings. Oh, I know. Well, let me kiss it, make it better. Here we go. Ah, there we are. Now, how do you feel? <laughs> Good. Now run along and stay out of the splintery trees. <laughs> Good. Wow! Mumsy kisses can heal anything. Oh, yes, Mumsy kisses do make you feel better, but it is Jesus who heals. It was a very noble thing you did, Pepper, to bring your friend to me. It reminds me of a story in the Bible where four friends brought a friend to Jesus. Did that really happen? Oh, of course it did. I'll show you right now in the Bible. Here we are. I believe in miracles. Okay. Ah, ah. Ah, here we are. Now, there were four men who brought their paralyzed friend to see Jesus. Um, excuse me, ma'am, but what does paralyzed mean? Well, it means when you can't use your arms, your legs, or your feet. Now, when they got to the house where Jesus was preaching, there was such a big crowd, they couldn't even get through the door. Oh, these glasses. Yes. Too bad. Did they go home? Oh, heavens no. Oh, they wouldn't give up on their friend that easily. They had the faith that Jesus could heal their friend right away. So what did they do? Well, it says, see, the Bible says, since they could not get to him to see Jesus pass of the crowd, they made an opening in the roof and lowered their friend with the paralyzed man on his mat laying on it. Wow, talk about raising the roof. Mm -hmm. yeah, what did Jesus do? Well, when he saw the great faith of his the four friends, Jesus told the man that his sins were forgiven. But, but I thought they took him to Jesus for healing. Well, First, Jesus healed the man's soul. And then Jesus healed the man's body. Huh. Jesus told him, get up, take your mat, and go home. 
And that's exactly what the man did. Boy, that man sure had four great friends. They did everything they could to bring their friend to Jesus. They never gave up. Yes, and children, you should know that when you have friends who have boo-boos or friends who don't have Jesus in their hearts, you can bring them to him too. Never give up on them because Jesus has the power to heal their bodies and their souls. That's incredible. Yes. Oh, you know what else is incredible? I do, I do. But it's incredible but true what the God of wonders can do. Oh, that's what my boys love to say. Oh, oh, let's all say it together. Thank you, out, everyone. It's, it's incredible, incredible but true. What the God, God of Wonders can do. <laughs> so long, kids. I'm going to go find some more friends with Boo Boo. Yes. Ta-ta, kids. Love and kippers. Bye-bye. Here we go.